today's video is only focused on the speaking part in which I got an 8.5 band out of 9. So how did I got that kind of score? I'm not really a native English speaker guys but just continue to watch this video and you might learn some tips and tricks on how I did it and I believe you will do it too. Just go and see the world and just show them what it really means to live life golden. Yeah, we'll go then, baby, yeah, we'll go then. They're yeah, about to see it shine, just we'll go. Hello guys, it's me again, Lovely, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about IELTS. So what is IELTS? It is an international English language testing exam in which all of us not native speakers has been dreading about to pass. This is a really important requirement for us to pass, especially nurses. I'm a nurse, guys. So I took this exam because of the visa screen. They need um, an updated IELTS score because we all know that IELTS has an expiration date and it just lasts for two years. So after two years, we have to retake it again to have a new score. So this is my official test reform scores and I'm just going to focus this time about the speaking exam because I know it is hard to reach a band score of seven. So I'm going to give you top 10 tips for and how I made it easier to have a speaking band score of 8.5. So this is my official IELTS test report form, guys. This is mailed to my mailing address after two weeks. So if you just took the IELTS exam, um, 13, af 13 days after you have taken the exam, you will be getting the results online if you wanted to know your score. But you can also request them to, ma to email the results or text it to you. So let's go ahead and talk about the speaking exam. Just to tell you ahead, I am not an expert in English, guys. Um, English is just my second language. I'm a Filipino citizen and I took the IELTS for my visa screen because I'm applying to the US and they need an updated IELTS score for them to be able to process my visa screen which i'll be needing in the future for my application so what does 8.5 band score signifies they said the test takers at this band can typically speak fluently at a natural speed with only occasional repetition or self-correction hesitation is usually to find ideas and not to find words or grammar Speaking is well organized, ideas are clear and well linked, and topics are well developed. They use a wide range of natural, accurate, and idiomatic vocabulary to discuss all topics, although with occasional errors in word, choice, and can paraphrase well if needed. They can use a wide range of grammar structures. Most sentences are accurate with only occasional errors. Pronunci pronunciation is generally natural and clear with only occasional minor problems. They are always easy to un understand and their accent has very little effect on understanding. So that's the explanation of my band score, guys. So this time, I'm not going to teach you about grammar or any words, but I'm going to give you top 10 tips on how to ace your speaking exam. Okay, number one. Guys, relax. Breathe in and breathe out. You can do this. Imagine that you'll just be speaking to your friend or to your colleague about ideas and opinions and just be confident, guys. You can do it. Number two, guys, be confident. Confidence is really the key to making your IELTS a success, guys, especially in the speaking part. Be confident in your accent. They don't really mind um, your Filipino accent. They don't mind how close you are to the native speaker accent. Be yourself, that's it. Be polite. Um, always wear a smile to them. Befriend the examiner um, so you can establish 
uh, rapport, right? So you'll be confident in exchanging ideas with them. They will be more appreciative if you will befriend them or smile with them or talk to, be to them like a friend. Number three, be yourself. So as I have said a while ago, just be yourself. Just be calm and um, take it easy. Bring yourself as it is. English is just our second language, you guys. Don't imitate someone's accent. So imitating makes you feel like an makes you feel more conscious, right? So just be yourself, guys. Number four, grammar. This is really very important, guys, because examiners, they are really particular with grammar and word choice. So make sure that if you use a certain kind of word, it should be accurate and it should be precise. So well, don't give them words that you have learned from grade school give them words that are higher level of vocabulary like for example if you want to tell about pet animals don't just tell them cats and dogs tell them you have a pet animals at home or something like that use and learn vocabularies learn to speak in front of the mirror or if not um video yourself like what i did video yourself and correct yourself and improve whatever it is needs to be improved so you can do this guys you can do this trust yourself and pray next vocabulary do not use simple words if you use simple words that's fine as long as you pair it with another um, high level vocabulary like for example what we learn from nursing if they ask you about what's your job responsibility you just can tell them add by like assessment planning and implementation intervention they won't know about it but those those kinds of words are higher level vocabularies like for example well in my work I do assess the patients um, physically, mentally, and socially. After my assessment, I do the planning to make sure that all the needs are, are will be met in the future and so on and so forth until the evaluation. So they will really appreciate the organization of your words and your thoughts and also the word choicing. So make sure that you don't use words that are not supposed to be used. Accuracy of word usage is really important, guys. So be careful in using new vocabularies. Make sure that the meaning is accurate and precise. Next, pray and let God intervene. Guys, you can do it no matter how good you are at a certain area, but when you don't have faith, then you won't make it. So guys, have faith and believe that you will receive it. Next, practice, practice, practice. This is really important. Don't just go into the examiner's room without having ample time of preparation because it will be really hard for you. The examiner already knows what to say and to ask. So Yes, practice is the key. Practice makes progress. So don't um, belittle the essence of practicing because it's really significant. Um, also find a friend that could listen to you and correct you so you can improve your speaking and also train yourself to spontaneously answer a certain problem or a certain situation. So in the future, if the examiner will ask you weird, not really weird questions, but will ask you a question that is that is unusual, then you can, you, you already trained your, the part of your brain to answer, right? Also guys, avoid repetition of the questions. Like for example, if your examiner is asking you, um, what do you work? What do you do at work? Don't tell him 
what I do at work is no. Rephrase the question, what, she, what he said, and then you will do good. You will um, show to him that you're really good in paraphrasing, paraphrasing questions and wordings. And also you have lots of grammar structures in which this can really help your band score so if the examiner will cut you because in my case the examiner always cuts me and i didn't like it show it to them you're confident and you you got this you got this you got the you got the exam and own the exam so i think that's all it's just top eight maybe i'm sorry but yes guys you can do it and trust in yourself pray practice learn new vocabularies improve your grammar use word accuracy you can do this guys good luck to your exam and thank you for watching bye